If you were lucky enough to eat Roman-style pizza when you were in Rome and then you craved it when you came back to the United States, you can now indulge once again back here in the U.S. and it's only in Chicago. We are an authentic Roman-style pizzeria. Um, and you see, right down our counter, we have 25, 30 different types of pizzas out at all times. Every day? Every day. Yeah. So we work over 200 different flavors. This is called Roman al taglio. Right, which means by the cut. We take scissors and we cut it to the specifications that you want. Yeah. So you can get as little or as much of any of the options and you pay by the way to your slice. Very unique approach uh, in Chicago. We never had this before. It's funny because this company, uh, Bunchy, is called Pizzarium in Rome and in Lucca. And the owner, Gabriele Bunchy, gave the rights to a group from America to come over to the States. And when they decided where they were going to start in the United States, right. guess where they started? Chicago. Right here, at right. this location, this the West location. Loop. This is the first one outside of Rome. Yeah. There was a line out the door down the block the first day these guys were open because people were so interested and fascinated with this new style of pizza. It's What's like that? a focaccia. There's right. lots of open it's crumb. Airy. It's airy. There's lots of moisture in this dough called high hydration. Uh -huh. uh, it rests for at least 36 to 72 hours. Really? So a lot of resting time. It's a very heavy dough. Uh -huh. They don't overwork it. They don't push all the air out of it because they right. want that air to be intact inside. Yeah. But then the thing about Roman pizza, it's always crispy, crunchy. So even though they bake these, they'll reheat them just to make sure that the bottom gets crisp it's on the real. stone deck. Okay. So they make the dough one day, and again, three types of flour. There's a whole wheat, there's a, a, a double zero, and there's an organic flour. And then they use lots of water. As I said, 70% by weight is gonna be water almost. Mm -hmm. And they let that rest for anywhere from 36 to 72 hours, so a lot of resting time for fermentation. Um, and then when they bake these off with the toppings, they bake them in a special handmade oven with a terracotta deck mm -hmm. to promote that crispy bottom. Mm -hmm. um, then they will top them as you see them sort of set out like a deli case. Yeah. And then when you place the order and they cut it and they weigh it, they reheat it. They bake it in a different oven. They take off the cold toppings. They rebake it to get that crispiness. And then they'll cut it into little squares, almost like little tapas style, mm -hmm. so that it's much easier to eat. What did we order here? We ordered a couple different things here. We've got uh, a classic with anchovy and some burrata. Burrata is this very creamy, rich mozzarella, but the anchovy will cut through that with its brininess and assertiveness. A zucchini with fresh ricotta, black pepper, lemon zest. I really love how thinly wow. shaved the zucchini is, but yeah. you don't see fresh ricotta on a lot of these, by the way. Cacio e pepe, which is a typical pasta dish with lots of butter and cheese and black pepper, but this cacio e pepe has onions and provolone for creaminess, but also pecorino for the saltiness. Yeah. This has got anduja, which is a spicy, spreadable Calabrian sausage. And this is interesting. You only really see this in Italy. Potato mozzarella. That's it. Really? There's not any, there's no tomato sauce again. Uh -huh. Just potato and mozzarella. It's a got a creamy, salty, starchy yumminess to it.